Well, hello everyone. I'm John Victor Jacobson and it is story time. Let's talk about the Clark Reservoir. What is wrong with the Clark Reservoir and how it got that way? <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Well, hello everyone. I'm John Victor Jacobson and we're here at the Clark Reservoir. The Clark Reservoir cuts the township of Clark in half from east to west and the Garden State Parkway cuts the uh, township in half from north to south. And right here is Bottleneck Bay. And what happens at Bottleneck Bay is very, very bad. Everything gets backed up. All the silt from upstream gets stuck right here in Sickwater Bay and all throughout this section of the reservoir where your children go to school. And they are subjected to hydrogen sulfide gas, methane gas, uh, fecal bacteria, and cyanobacteria. And that's not good. It's very, very bad. And those gases radiate out in to the environment and to the tens and thousands of people that live up and down this reservoir and beyond. A nuclear holocaust that just radiates out and uh, the gases that you breathe and your children and the animals and your animals and the water that any of these animals are subjected to is toxic. Fertilizers and pesticides that soak into here, and then there's oil spills right here in between the um, the two uh, Clark Little Leak ball fields right here. That's right. There's an oil spill, and it goes uh, it right goes up. right up here to Westfield Avenue, right next to City Hall. That's right, right next to City Hall. That's what we're talking about. This is uh, neglected. This is a, like an open sewer right into the Clark Reservoir. That's just what it is. And this is the result. Sick water. Well, okay. I'm John Victor Jacobson. You be sure to watch part two. It's going to be a little bit of a history lesson on the Clark Reservoir and how it got this way. All righty. Are you ready? Here we go.